Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame. When we last left off, we were exploring uh, another section of the twins house. So let's keep doing just that, shall we? So we can go downstairs. We can come down here. Ooh, have we been through this door? We haven't, I don't think, but we can unlock the door. I'm guessing ah look at that we've kind of come full circle excellent it there's something about this system uh it's not really like metroidvania but it's something about um opening up all these different walkways and shortcuts and stuff in these games like resident evil it's really satisfying okay cool let's go Ooh, cutscene. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, there she is. Uh, she appears to have had a bad time. Oh. Oh, she's gone. Whoa, what the absolute fuck nuggets was that? Alright, well. Let's try and sort her out. That did a reasonable amount of damage, I suppose. Whoa, she's a really interesting design, to say the least. Come on. Let's see that zero shot of yours. Ooh. 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 She's quick. She's fast. You wouldn't have thought she would be. But she's pretty nippy. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. Get off my foot. Honestly, who do you think you are? Um. Well, I mean, okay. We'll have that. And I guess we'll have that. Yeah, she's pretty nasty. You have to be quick. She seems to stop. Oh, God. Don't get a lot of health with her, do you? Uh, or a lot of damage, I should say. Um, right, well, let's eat one of them. Okay. This is going to be rough. Ooh. Okay, I think that was a zero shot. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, God. <laughs> so she's just determined to live her death over and over and over again. That's pretty rough. Poor woman. Oh. So that's her zero shot. Her zero shot is her literally falling to her death. Oh god. Get off my foot, honestly. Dude. Right, give her some of that. Although, that does stun her, though. A little bit. Alright, she's gonna disappear. Right, so now she's gonna fall again. There we go. Fatal frame. So I'm guessing she fell from the top and, like, broke... Like, <laughs> every bone in her body? I don't know, would, would a fall from up there kill you? Uh, I don't think... Mm. Maybe, if you got unlucky. I mean, it's not going to like break every bone in your body. Um, the way she was, but whatever. Okay. If I could push and find the right button, that'd be fantastic. So we've got another crystal. It was... One of these. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
The fallen woman. Flew like a brick. So that didn't exactly go too well for her now, did it? Unless unless she was walking down the staircase, and the staircase nah, the staircase that's not very high. Alright, well, let's keep going. So uh it just brings us back out here. Okay, so there has to be somewhere we haven't been in yet. Uh, I guess we'll feed. Well, there's the projector room. I suppose we'll go back and check that out. Uh, we better go feed Mayu some herbal medicine in a minute. Make her feel Mayu? Not Mayu, we're Meow, twin one. Back in the twin room. So we need to exit out of here. I mean, these, like, film reels, uh, it might, like, they're not that interesting. Because they're so garbled and low quality, you really can't tell too much of what's actually going on. And yeah, I know that's by design. I guess they thought it was creepy that way. I'm not sure. But if you're trying to show the player something, you've kind of got to make a bit of an effort. Um, nope. Is it film three? I thought we've already seen film three. Maybe not. Did we not pick up film four? That doesn't look too fun. Someone being sacrificed to the pit, I guess. Um, right, anyway, so what exactly are we dealing with? Let's make uh, Twin One feel a little bit better. There you go. Been a little better now, meow. Now, I haven't really found anything. Ah. Wait a minute, where were we supposed to be going? There was an area that we were supposed to go to to do something in that room. Uh, photos. It was not this delightful fallen woman here. It was... No. That's... Not where it shows us where to go, is it? Family altar. Facing the well. Well. Whitehead boy. Slashed man. Cold brazier, warped face, couple. No. All right, where were we supposed to go? And was it somewhere in here? Did we do it? If it were whole. 
it and the twin doll next to it would probably be twins. Well, <laughs> probably. Uh, yeah. Yes, they would. Twin one. Come on. Start using that noodle of yours. I don't know how old she's supposed to be. I'm guessing she's not a child in this game. Um, I don't know if she's a schoolgirl. I get the feeling she's supposed to be um, somewhere around 17, 18. I'm not really sure. So she should be fairly intelligent. Saying that. Let me walk that back a minute. I mean, I know a few people <laughs> of that age that actually are um, questionable at best. So, oh, actually, we will take advantage of the safe spot. So, we've obviously missed something. Yeah, I, I know plenty of um, teenagers that uh, are mentally challenged. Okay. Now, let's go back upstairs. So, we're looking for some arms and some legs. Now, we've... Did we go through that door? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, so the woman that fell, she didn't drop anything for us. And we fought one of the twins. I get the feeling, though, that surely if we fought one of the twins, shouldn't there be two? Maybe there's a room that we haven't explored yet? Ah, I don't think we've been down the end of that corridor, have we? Right, let's go check this court. Ah, right, yeah, we can't, can we? That was the one that had a ghost down there, the pinned person or something. Ah, uh, there was nothing here. And there's nothing here, is there? No, that is literally just a, um, a self-contained kind of like square room. Or rectangular room, actually. You should be an engineer, Titan. You should know your shapes. Okay. Now. Mm. Ah, wait. Hang on. Stairway room. Sliding... Ah, right, yeah. That just leads us back to there. See, that leads to the uh, golden... No, the heavens bridge. Uh, and we can't go to the Heaven's Bridge yet. So, that's a dead end. We could potentially go the way around here. What is, was there anything here in this room? Ah, right, yeah, it's just a stuck box. Personally, I'd kick that son of a bitch open. Because there could be goodies inside. But what do I know? I guess I'm not a young woman. Trapped in a ghost house looking for my twin sister. So, I guess I can't... I, I don't have the, uh, the right to comment on such things. Okay. Yeah, we, we know the staircase is broken. But... The glass cover of the clock is broken. Well, that doesn't really help us. Does it? Uh, okay. The sliding screen room still has... There is still a door there. I wonder if we can now open that. I doubt it. But... But we can try it, I guess. Alright. Oh, let's go over here. Uh, if not, I'll do the old uh, pause and research. Okay, so... I mean, I'm guessing... I'm guessing that that door is still definitely stuck. I mean, my theory is we're not going to be able to open that 
So that's how we came into here. Oh! We've got these locked doors here, haven't we? Uh... So that's the exit back out of here. Floor one. So we're in the Kairu house. Screen, sliding screen, yeah. And then you've got the projector room. So there are some doors here that are potentially... Yeah, well, I mean, we're in this area, so... Let's go see if any of these doors are now open. As I said, I doubt it, but... We shall go and investigate. I've got a feeling we've got to find that other twin. That's... What I'm betting on. Oh! There's a sliding door thing there. Can't touch it. Can't fiddle with that. I don't know if you heard that, but there was some guy jibbing on. But it was very... Something about rings? One ring giving vitality? One ring taking the soul? Alright. So where does this door go? This leads back through there. Um, I mean, we can try that door. I'm pretty confident that that door's not going to be open. There has to be something more upstairs. Um, we've crashed. Yeah, we've crashed again. <laughs> right, I'm going to go find out what we've got to do. Be right back. Okay. <clears throat> and we should be back more or less. I hope um, you can't hear the Xbox too loudly in the old... Uh, microphone there. Uh, I've put the fan speed up like by quite a bit hoping that um, if it's an overheating issue that should potentially cool it down. Right so uh, I, I'm not 100% sure what we're supposed to be doing here. I'm guessing that we have indeed missed something. Uh, obviously we've missed something right. So let's have a little look. Uh, so we've got these two rooms here, which I'm assuming. See, we can hear stuff going on here. Ah, you can hear voices on the other side of the door. Is somebody in there? I don't know. I have no idea. Is somebody in there? The door is locked. Oh, we can go in here. Wait a minute. We tried this door before. Definitely tried this door before. Also, as I was exploring... Um, earlier, looking around to try and find some things, uh, I randomly found that little twin girl just in one of these corridors looking at me. 
I was like, oh shit, here we go. We're going to fight her again. But, no. Oh, no, we didn't fight her again. As soon as I got close to her, she disappeared forever. So, not really sure what that was about. Right, so we can hear whispering. That's where we came in. Nothing we can do with that. There's definitely something going on here. Right, so... Not exactly. Ooh. Also, I know we can use the other trigger to cycle between our films now, which is really cool. Don't have to go into the menu to do so. Hidden man. Hear him muttering to himself. Kinda looks like the blonde boy. A little bit. Violet Diary 1. Why kill? Why kill? Why kill? Repeated about 600,000 times. There seems to be a space either side of the altar, but it's so dark you can't see. Yet yeah, that's... That's why we have a torch, twin one. Right, now we've taken that shot. Can we... Go and have a little explore in here. Ah, oh, now it's open. Okay, cool. Progress. Alright, let's be on our toes here. Because we... Ooh. Are these dull parts? Something's reflecting in the light. Well, that's not dull parts, but... The arms, legs, and the head of a doll have been thrown carelessly on the shelf. Okay. That's positive. There are doll fingers, cords, screws, and other small parts organized into the small jar. There isn't anything that looks especially useful. Okay. Well. What else do we have? There's a burn mark in the corner of the room. Well, that's definitely not that useful to us. Dollmaker's Note 4. An unfinished doll sits on the workbench. There was an old book in the drawer that was slightly open. I saw Azumi. Even though she should be in the something now, she was asking me to kill the Azumi doll. I have made a grave mistake. The twins had at last become one again. I was wrong to make that doll. So he made her into a doll. I think Azumi was trying to tell me where the head and hands of the doll are hidden. They're hidden in a box somewhere in the house. Okay, Dolomite. Oh. Really? Fucking really? Kill me. So I guess the doll wants to be killed? Um... Right, let's have a little look at the camera. Hey, we're up to 30,000. All right, well, let's power some shit up. And I think we're going to power that up. Function can't be upgraded any further. Nice. Okay, happy for that. Now, hang on, camera. So power up lens level 3. It doesn't tell you how many um, orbs it takes to use, though. Ah, uh, right. Oh, we got another crystal thing, didn't we? It's not a doll. It is not my child either. It is a ghost. I must kill it. So we need to find the arms, head, and eyes, I guess. And we have a crash. 